Good evening, everyone. How is everybody doing this evening? You know what time it is? It is dinner time here where I am. I'm a lazy person all day today, y'all. I'm cooking some. Oh, shoot. Look at that. All that water is over there on the burner. Let me see if you can see it. I am cooking. I guess you could see it. Squash. I'm frying some squash. And I'm going to make, uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to make some jiffy cornbread. I don't know. I don't know. If I'm, I don't think I'm going to have any meat. I don't have any meat uh, planned, anything planned, especially because I woke up so late. And so it's late. And, and you know, really, I probably could make some meat because uh, squash, to me, they take a long time to get, you know, like I want them to get. But anyway, I don't think so. But look, at, look, y'all. I don't know if I'm showing that correctly, but I'm trying. That's Aya. No, not Aya. Her name is Ayla Jene. Doesn't she look like a big girl about five months? Well, for your information, she's only one month old. <laughs> and she drinks. She drinks a lot of milk, y'all. And, and uh, you know, oh, I'm going to try to set this camera down. Because she gets hungry. She's hungry. She doesn't want to just, you know, sit around with four ounces of milk. She wants at least six. Look at the size of them. Look. Oh, my goodness. I was like, I was just watching her last week, you know. I was just I think it was last week or was it a week before. And that's just how much she has grown in that little bit of time. I mean, she looks like she's about two months old. And her hair done curled up. Look at them jaws. You see them cheeks? You see all that? You see? Let me show it to you again, y'all. Yeah. You see? <laughs> I hope I'm doing it correctly. See it? Let me see. See those cheeks? And look at the little outfit they got on her. Oh, my goodness. Got on sandals. Are you kidding me? She got her on sandals and a little, look like to me, a little summer outfit. <clears throat> I was so shocked to see that. But actually, my, my uh, son posted that to the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the group chat. You know, they have like this group chat going on, and I'm on it. But half the time, I, you know, sort of ignore it when I hear the beeping going on because I just let them, you know, because they're young. I, Sometimes I just can't deal with all that jibber jabber and all their chatter. But then I look up there and I saw that. And so I said, okay, I got to have this picture and show it to the YouTube, YouTube community. Because she just seemed like she's just growing so fast. But you know what they say about a baby that grows fast like that? They say a baby that grows fast like that is moving over for the next one. But, you know, that's an old saying from down home. You know how down home people got all these different little sayings and things they got. You know, like, don't walk on a little ladder. The, well, I think they do that up here, too. Because uh, a lot of people right today won't walk on a ladder. And they say, when a black cat cross your path. What is it? Uh, when a black cat crosses your path, something else. I don't know. But. You both turn around and go back. Now suppose you twenty miles away from home and a black cat pet crosses your path. Are you and you're walking, don't forget, you are walking. And then a black cat crosses your path. Are you gonna turn around and go back because this black cat crossed your path? Think about it. Let it marinate a little bit. I don't know y'all, but I, I, you know, I don't walk under a ladder. I really don't. And and, and I, as a matter of fact, I'm kind of skeptical of walking, you know, under a scaffold. You know, like how they're building on buildings and then they got this scaffolding or whatever they call that stuff. I don't like walking over there, even though, you know, you're supposed to walk under it. But I don't like it. I really don't. Let me see. <laughs> I keep looking over there at the baby. She is something else. I mean, I, 
I wonder if there's another one getting ready to come. I don't know. You know how these kids breathe. They be breathing sometimes. They be breathing like rabbits, so I don't know. But anyway, y'all, I just came up here to show you uh, Ayla. And I think I showed you these. I don't know. I got a couple of them in my hair right now, but they're not doing a good job because my hair is so bald. But anyway, I got these from Amazon. And they really look like tie clips. You know, like, see? Tie clips. There were six of them. Well, maybe it was five because I got two. I think I got two I'm trying to hold my hair up. Is it, or is it one? I think there's two up there. They're supposed to have been six. So one of them must have fallen out or something. See, they're all like, uh, let's see if I can get them up there. Like animal prints. But I don't think my hair, my hair is too, you know, it's too bald to, to really hold them. But I thought they were so cute because, you know, I, I like anything that's a uh, leopard. And I got back on the Tamu wagon again, y'all. I guess my order will be coming. Um, what is that? I don't know. I guess my order will be coming on. Um, When did I order it? Was it yesterday or Monday? I can't remember. But anyway, it was one of those days I ordered it. And so I guess it's coming in two weeks. That's the only thing about that Tamu thing. You know, they, they take too long. I'm used to Amazon. And as a matter of fact, I got to take those earbuds back, but Amazon is telling me I got, I don't know how many times I got to tell them that my printer is not working and I don't have any, well, it does work, but I don't have any ink in it and I don't want to pay the money for that ink. And so they usually give me a code. And so I'm going to have to call them for the code. But I got until... I think it's May 28th, because that's really the last thing that I have that, you know, that I need to send back to Amazon. I sent everything else back already. Got on one of my new shirts from Target. It's a white one, plain old white one. I wore it before. That white and, um, what's it called, the other one? The other one is orange. Got that from, uh, uh Target, just because I couldn't. Uh, anything else and what else did I get in exchange and I went back there to exchange them um I got another pair of black pants they fit they fit the kind of dress is sad I guess you call them sort of chino type pants and I you know I couldn't find my size in anything else and then I bought another pair of jeans. You know, it looks like I bought the same kind that I had taken back, you know, with the bell bottoms. I don't want those. And they're too tight around my, my thighs, so I didn't like that. But guess what? The next time I go to Target, I'm just going to get me a new rugs for my bathroom. No more clothes for Target. I'm not even going to go over there in that department. I'm just going to go straight to the household goods and... And, uh, and like I said, get me a bathroom rug or something like that and call it a day. And uh, I'm still using my bio oil. I think it's working. My skin feels different. You know, which I didn't wash my face today. I wiped it with some water. I rinsed it, but I didn't wash it. Yeah, I can, you know feels different. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to have a long drawn out conversation. I just wanted to show you Ayla and uh, show you what I was cooking. And I got to get my cornbread ready and put it in the oven because I think that's it. That's all I'm going to have for dinner. I can't think of anything that's quick. I don't have anything left over. I eat all my chicken. Yeah, I did. So, But I ate, you know, stuff today, so I ain't worried about it. I was going to make me some soup of soup, but then I said, no, I'll make the soup of soup on tomorrow. That way I can have it for dinner and for lunch, because I'm going to make the whole bag. I got the whole bag of the, Cal you know, the whole big bag of the California blend. And so I'm just going to have, I'm going to use the um, cream of celery. The cream of celery is good. 
I, I think I like the cream of celery with it better than I do the uh, cream of chicken. Yeah, because I was going to cook that today. It's my cream of celery. And so I'm going to make the cream of celery. And the California. Woo! See all that stuff out the while. I'm not going to be able to. And this is my California bun. Really, it's not that much in there. By the time you get the soup in there and everything. Oh, I could make one of those sausages. But you know why I bought these? Just in case I wanted to have a cookout, which is not going to happen, I don't think. But I think that stuff is it's, it's really too much for me, you know, for my age, to have to deal with all that. And so, and plus that, you know, the cleanup, the, I mean, it's not that much to clean up because you have the plates and the, you know, the throwaway plates, throwaway uh, forks and all that. But then you got the prep, you know, you got to prep the, the make a potato salad or macaroni salad, whatever you have as a side dish. Then you got to go to the grocery store to pick up the burgers and the, with that pack of, uh, pack of sausage, the Carolina uh, hot. I usually get those, you know, for every cookout. And so I had bought those the other day when I had went to the store. But I don't have, I didn't buy, well, I got a little small pack of hamburger in there, but, you know, not for cooking out. But I do like to make my own hamburgers when I have a cookout. I don't like the ones that are already patted out for you. I like to, you know, make my own. And uh, get some hot, do you know, hot, do you know the words, get you know, all that stuff. And sometimes I think I usually make chopped barbecue, potatoes, I go all out. And if I could find one of those trucks with the watermelons that they claim come from down south, I believe they might come from down south because they taste a little bit better than the ones you get in the store. And so if I see the truck, you know, because they'd be on a truck. And, and they park it out there, you know, on the street. And you see everybody see it, like, on the same spot, like, almost every year. And so you go down there and you see if you see the truck. And then you see the truck and you get these big, long, like, watermelons like this. Something like, something like Chef Jeff had. Chef Jeff was cut, cutting a watermelon like that. I said to myself, that looked like a North Carolina watermelon. But I hope they have some watermelon. Now, if I see those watermelons, I'm going to still get me a watermelon, all right? But I don't think I'm going to cook out. I don't feel like dealing with all that, the rigmarole. It's too much for me and all that kind of stuff. So I think the cookout is going to be uh, out. And then my son, he was telling me that he wanted me to cook some something for his son's school or his daughter's school. I forgot. But anyway... And I don't know how that came into play, but, you know, some people want you to do more than the, you know, the stuff like you used to do. But, uh, see, that's, and when you get a little older, you sort of slow down. But I've seen a couple of people on the YouTube community that don't seem to be slow. Well, they're slower than, I'm pretty sure they're slower than they used to be. And they don't have that, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that, you know, and everything. But I think that my, my grandkids and kids and stuff like that, they're big enough to have their own little cookout. That's what they did last year. And as a matter of fact, I haven't had a cookout in about four, maybe four or five years. But I wanted to have one this year. Well, yeah, I still, need, I still got time to change my mind. So, on that note, y'all, while I'm thinking about should I or should I not have a cookout for Memorial Day? Memorial Day is uh, the 20, I think it's the 29th. I looked it up and I forgot it already. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, so, here's my little case. That's an idea. I ain't got to worry about, but I already misplaced one. So, I was getting ready to say you don't have to worry about one, two, three, four, five. There was six. I'm pretty sure there was six. It's probably laying around here somewhere when I tried it on. On that note, y'all, 
I shall talk to you again soon. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. See you soon.